Hey guys, let's take a Kiba right here in Kiba space. I got some coconut and I think it's bacon season. Yeah, it is because it's close to Easter. So yes, we're making a sweet bread. So join me as I get prepped up, as I get washed up, and we'll be right back here. So let's see with the dry ingredients. So in this bowl, I have about three and a half cups of flour. Uh, three, you know, I always have to go healthy. So there's a half cup of bran flour in there and three cups are regular plain. If you want to use all white, go ahead, use all white. Then I have a cup of sugar, brown sugar, guys, lightly brown sugar. You can use white, you can use whatever you like. All right, and then of course, I had to go get these bad boys, mix peel. Mix peel is a joke here. I used to make this as a kid. That is a video for another time. I will definitely make a video on how to make mix peel. And I got, so that's three quarter cup, and I got a uh, three quarter cup of raisins. So that is my dry ingredients. All together in there, mix them around. Yes, and of course you're gonna need baking powder. So I'm gonna use a tablespoon, a heaping tablespoon guys, a heaping tablespoon, don't judge me. Tablespoon of baking powder. So I got nutmeg. Um, you might see me sprinkle. Let's do a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. I'm gonna do a quarter teaspoon of wine clove. And cinnamon. Yeah, cinnamon is your friend. You want a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. Yes, I do it like Granny used to do. She used to just sprinkle. And then you need some mixed essence or vanilla essence guys and i have um let's talk about this coconut so this coconut here is a whole coconut i love fresh coconut guys whole coconut a blending blender with uh eight ounce sorry 16 ounce bottle of water i took one cup out and i'm using the rest for this then I have a stick of butter and melted in the microwave. So we have essence, we got coconut, and we got butter. Yes, guys, this nice little brew here. Those in here. But first, I'm missing a key ingredient. I like to use two eggs, guys. So one and two all right you want to beat those eggs because you know eggs is not just to bind eggs is also rising ingredients so they're gonna help to raise and i'm gonna put that in all the liquid in it so that's right in my butter eggs and coconut right they all go in this mixing bowl make sure you mix all these up guys you need a splash of salt salt wakes up sweet stuff so you need just a splash of salt to make up all your sweet stuff and then combine all the ingredients And you don't have to over beat. As long as it's all combined, we're all done. So you want two medium sized loaf pan and you want to put that in there. Half in one and half in the other one. Unless this is professionally done, please weigh them out so that they weigh equal. I always tell people, the worst thing to have once somebody order something and get one big and one small. You want to use your mixed fruits, 
sprinkle them on the top so that when it comes up it beats all pretty so if you have extra fruits they'll bake in on the top and then bake in the oven at 325 about 50 minutes I like to put them on the top guys all right guys so that was a full hour my sweet bread is now taking a color that I can live with but like granny used to do guys you want some sugar water so this is sugar in about quarter and you want to just put it like that on top of the sweet bread and sugar on the top and then you want to rest that back in the oven for about two minutes so that it dries on there So that's how Granny used to do it. Here it is. If you think it's not gonna stick, it will. So let's put that back for two minutes and take it out. When you take it out, leave it in the pan for about 10 minutes, then take it out the pan. So guys, this thing here with her sweet bread, look at it, pretty. Mm. It's not over baked, melt in your mouth kind of bread. You want to try this and you want to try this soon. So tell a friend, tell an ex-friend and I'll see you right back here in Cuba space. Bye guys.